Well, hello and welcome, guys. Welcome to the channel Indie Traveler. If you are new to the channel, please make sure yeah, that you subscribe to the channel. Now, today, that as you've seen from the thumbnail, we have a friend of mine uh, who is going to share her experience moving to Glasgow from Bangalore, and she was working as a software engineer, and then she transitioned to a, again a master student. So, from being a software engineer to uh, to being back to a student, how was her journey and how was her experience studying in UK? So we are going to discuss with her. Hi everyone, I'm Akarsha. I'm from Mysore, Karnataka, and I'm I studied MSc in Electronics and Electrical Engineering in University of Glasgow. Right. So the first question I would like to ask you is, uh, how did you like? What were you doing back in like Bangalore or Mysore, and then how you came to? What was your journey like? Can you? So I did majority of my education in Mysore. Right. And I moved to Bangalore to do my work. To my right, job, so right. I got my job through college placement. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I did the interview and mm. the, everything. And before that, I had got so many rejections that I'd given up on my right. on looking for a job. Yeah, yeah. But then my dad sat me down and he said, "Just go for it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you get yeah. rejected. Just keep going for companies. Keep applying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah." So this was the day on my birthday mm -hmm. that I went for my interview and everything. On and the same day, I got the job offer. You got selected. On my that's, birthday, that's yes. That's fascinating, yeah. yeah. So, so you landed a job in Bangalore, yes, and then watched. you started working as a. I started working as a software, software engineer. engineer. Right. Yeah. So I basically used to do bug fixing as a right. software engineer. Yeah, and then. And it was really great. It was a great experience. It was actually my first time away from mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was kind of difficult in the beginning, but yeah. it was a really great experience exactly, yeah. in those two years. I learned yeah. a lot. I learned. I f I met a uh, lot of people, made a lot of friends. It mm -hmm. was really fun, and then I thought I should expand my knowledge base so right. that's why i thought i'll come to uk and mm -hmm. do my masters right how, for how many years did you work in like uh, so i did my engineer? internship from jan 2019 to july right and then i started my full time from july Achha, so you worked in the same company as an intern yeah yeah, yeah. and then they took you as a yeah, full time as a full engineer time, yeah oh wow so, so how many how long did you work like for starting from internship and everything so it was two years two years yeah. and then when did you realize that you have to like come for masters go so for so i decided like during the covid period mm -hmm. but then since the covid happened i couldn't come so i had right. to extend my job right so then around in 2021 right. i think it had kind of reduced the covid yeah. impact so that's when i decided that i'll come you should here. do something yeah, yeah. right so uh, what uh, what was your undergrad in so it was in electronics and communication Elect and you were doing same course in here right it's pretty much the same, but electrical is something that's electronics added and electrical. You're yeah. doing here yeah. as a master's. Yeah, electrical is a new subject. For right, me. in yeah. University of Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, there might be like loads of options for you, like mm -hmm. all the other countries, like Canada, US, or maybe Australia or New Zealand. Mm -hmm. You know, why did you choose UK uh, for doing your master's? So yeah, my sister was born in US. She did her master's in US. My dad did his master's in US. Right. So I thought I should do something different, mm -hmm. and that's why I chose UK. I, I didn't even think about Australia or Canada. I right. just straight away went to UK oh, because. Is it? I feel UK is such a beautiful place with mm. its buildings, with yeah. its environment. And so that's why I chose UK and Glasgow I selected because of the building, the university yeah. building. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it enough. reminds everybody of Giving Harry Potter. Like Harry Potter yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I chose Glasgow. Yeah. And even the course structure was really good. Mm. So I, that, that's why I chose University of Glasgow. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so Akasha, tell me how was your experience doing your course, which was Masters in Electronics and Electrical in, so, United, in University of Glasgow? It was a bit difficult and stressful because right. In back in India, you don't have a lot of assignments. Yeah. It's just exams. It's yeah. just tests. But here, along with the exams, there are also multiple assignments, which was really difficult yeah. to manage in this one year. Right. But it was a great experience. I got to learn coding. I got to learn a lot of things in this course, in mm -hmm. this structure. Right. It was re it was really amazing. Even mm -hmm. though it was a bit stressful with the online exams, yeah. with the online classes, yeah. but it was still really great fun. It was great for you. Yeah. Right. So, uh, can you tell me, like, was it like easy for you for like transitioning from because you were working and then yeah. be becoming again a student? Yeah. How how was that transition? It wasn't difficult because I'm a nerd. Oh, is <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nerd. Okay. Yeah, I love studying. I right. love books. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So it wasn't much okay. of a difficulty for right. me. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I've like I've saw someone uh, <laughs> calling themselves nerd for the first time in my <laughs> life. But yeah, only anyways. So, but um, how how helpful were the professor in terms of like solving doubt solving or mm -hmm. you know when you had uh, you know any queries regarding mm -hmm. that? So because it was online, right? Yeah, as, as you said. Yeah. So how how helpful was the professor or university or uh, any unions if you 
uh, can tell yeah, me about they, it. they were all right i guess with the covid period i think even the lecturers found it difficult mm. but yeah, it was all right when you sent mails they were pretty quick with their right. replies right. and even the student unions if you had any difficulty they were really helpful well, like i mean like i want to ask you what was the process if you had let, let's mm. say if, uh, any course any subject you had any particular mm. doubt so what would you do I would send them an email right because that was the only way we could communicate with oh, them or during the zoom classes you yeah, can like because you get like 30 minutes after the class yeah yeah, yeah. so you can send them a message saying you yeah. know uh, I have a doubt so mm-hmm. can you like stay back and we can discuss it or you can send an email after the class so they yeah they were pretty responsive mm-hmm. it wasn't really bad and you got uh, pretty much all your doubts yeah, resolved yeah, yeah yeah i got all my doubts cleared yeah even the students who were along with me who were studying mm-hmm. even they were really helpful all right uh, yeah so agarsha tell me how was your experience uh when you came here uh, for the first time in, uh, and you saw university of glasgow what happened like just walk me through it yeah so it was during the open day right. that me and my friends we went to the university of glasgow right and there were a lot of events that were uh, that were hosted on that day and mm-hmm. there were a lot of clubs and societies and uh there was gu orbit there was a thoman society mm-hmm. and then there was a baking society indian society yes indian society <laughs> yeah and yeah so i i chose the tamil society because Th- you're not even tamil why did what the fuck you just tamil <laughs> like i don't even get it so my flatmate is a tamilian right. so i thought you know i can meet a lot of tamil yeah. society tamilians mm. Mm. there are not a lot of kannada people unfortunately mm. it was only me and my other friend and mm. i hadn't met a lot of them so it right. was the tamil society it was a south indian society so mm. i wanted to be a part of it and it was really great fun they had mm-hmm. all these events every month we went to the air beach and then they hosted a game night a movie night it right. was really fun and i'm so glad i was part of the society mm-hmm. i met a lot of people i got to learn a bit of tamil is it yeah all oh, right yeah. fun for you so, so you had like fun experience because there are like tons of clubs when you come to university of glasgow or any university in uk you'll have exposure to uh, you know rocketry or mechanical if you are into robotics all sorts of like literature even baking yeah baking okay. literature if you are yeah. into debating and stuff so there are tons of again tons of clubs yeah. please make sure that you whenever you come to the you yeah. know universities do join all those clubs so that you you'll be engaged throughout the year yeah. and yeah coming down to this question that how what do you think was it worth it spending all the money and whatever time you spent uh, coming here was it worth it i would say yeah it was kind of worth it except that i wish it was offline class offline, yeah. in person how, class what was the percentage of being offline and online were like I, majority were online it was But just that yeah. i had one class in person so 99% of yeah 99% <laughs> was online okay. unfortunately yeah yeah i wish it was in person other than that it was really nice it was a great experience yeah. to be a student again after 2 years right yeah i just wish it was in person but other than that the lecturers were very very helpful university so, yeah. was very helpful and yeah I, i still got to meet a lot of people even though it was online classes yeah Yeah, it was a great experience, and I don't regret it. I don't regret spending that much money in coming here. You know, it's just the experience that counts, even though it was. So, any pro tip for the potential students who are going to come to UK and going to study electronics or electrical or robotics? I mean, it's it's just going to be a great experience. Mm. You know, you don't you don't have to come with that mindset that oh my god, it's just a one year course. It's yeah. going to be so hectic. Just have fun with it. Mm-hmm. Whatever happens, happens. It's all an experience in life. and just have fun get to meet you'll get to meet a lot of people it's not only indians that you'll meet you'll meet uh, people from all kinds of backgrounds and that's something that no that you, you you have to experience that's something you'll never get back so come to uk it's a beautiful place glasgow is a beautiful place university is amazing and i'm sure everybody is going to have amazing fun you'll get to learn a lot of things in this one year and i think you'll going to have an amazing experience where your life will be definitely changed i think you'll become a more independent more mature person when you come here wise yeah. words wise yeah <laughs> please share subscribe and please support my friend here for this channel it's he makes really great videos thank so, you yeah yeah so all right guys pretty much this was it for this video now i'll see you in the next video see ya